Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, I know some of you guys like Houston, where on earth are you? Well, I'm in San Pedro, California, and I'm visiting the USS Iowa battleship. And for many of you guys that follow me and everything, you all know that I love ships. When I was in San Francisco a few weeks ago, I didn't get a chance to do, uh, tour the submarine and the battleship there, but I definitely went and looked up the history of it. And then a few weeks prior to that, I was in San Diego at the USS Midway. And man, I love that ship because I've told you guys that I was, uh, it was my opportunity. The first time I went, I went there and then I seen Top Gun 1 right and it puts you in this mindset because you understand they educate you on what happens on those type of ships and everything which makes it even more exciting when you're watching a movie so then with this new uh maverick top gun 2 came out i wanted to go back so i visited the ship again to refresh but this time i took my time and did more detail about the ship and everything and it's just the experience when you actually looking at these uh military movies and stuff and you actually been on that ship and you act on some some ships that's similar to it so you can understand how they function and everything nonetheless like i said i'm down here in san pedro and you know of course i'll I'd, i'll take more videos and stuff but one of the things i want you all to check out is look at these barges here now um i made a video before uh if you all remember during the pandemic there was a um barge that had the uh got caught up in the canal right and so what ended up happening it ended up backing up everything right and if you see this barge this um gray barge back here behind the green one the gray barge right if you see as large it's about looks about the same but what happened was the barge that we seen it was twice that size i could not imagine and it was just so exciting to be able to see things like that okay now here in san pedro uh you see this machine here this machine here comes over and it's going to pick up these containers and bring them back and put them on onto uh onto land and stuff like that so i swear i, I like doing this like i said we are on the USS uh, Iowa, and we're going to be taking a tour and everything. But one of the things that I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about, because I am working, so one of the things that I want to talk to you about, about is for us, um, how, to, how to fund your business. Because I know a lot of you guys are looking for funding for startups and stuff like that. Well, some of the easier things, especially if you're bootstrapping your business, some of the easier ways to possibly bootstrap your startup if you possibly have a home depot card or a macy's card and you're using those type of cards to uh buy those vanilla gift cards now here's the problem with that that happens for a lot of people they'll just go into a macy's and home depot and they'll just buy a bunch of vanilla gift cards and nothing else you can't do it that way okay in order for you to actually just uh, to, in order for you to purchase those vanilla Visa gift cards, if you're trying to liquidate them for cash to help start your business, what you would have to do, you would have to like purchase some other products and stuff and then add that on to it or whatever. But when you uh, just uh, do vanilla uh, Visa gift cards or whatever, what it does, it triggers the system and they're alert and they'll end up shutting your card down. So you don't want that to happen, okay? But that is a good way, especially if you're trying to bootstrap your uh, business. Now, Quill, okay? And I keep telling you all, uh, you should have a Quill account. Now, granted, Quill is a net 30 account and you're like, well, how's that going to help me bootstrap my business or help fund my business? Well, again, Quill allows with your Quill account Quill allows you to buy vanilla Visa gift cards as well. But again, you cannot just buy directly all vanilla Visa gift cards, all right? You have to purchase a product and then add those vanilla gift cards to the thing, okay? So 
that's the reason that you know I'm, I'm just telling you some things especially if you're trying to look for startup capital because I don't know how much startup capital you you need you know you may need five hundred dollars you may need ten thousand I don't know but I'm just telling you some ideas that may be able to help you all right now another one um, especially if you're uh, financially challenged or whatever uh, and you're trying to start your business, you may want to consider a uh, Klarna, K-L-A-R-N-A, right? It's a buy now, pay now. Now, the reason that I'm talking about Klarna to help uh, start your business because they will allow you to make larger purchases than the other buy now, pay now, okay? And it's still set up to where you get your product and stuff, especially if you're selling physical products, like you may be trying to start a t-shirt business or clothing business or something like that you know because they do no hard credit check they have a uh, 36 months of financing you know so something like that again if you're financially strapped and you're trying to start a business these are some of the easier ways for you to actually start your business now one of the other things that i would definitely tell you uh especially if you're financially strapped but if you have a job you may want to consider um, filing exam uh, with your job for at least about four months. That way you can take that extra income instead of paying taxes, take that extra income to help bootstrap your business as well. Okay, so those are just a few of the things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, there's a few more, uh, but I wanted to just really show you all what's going on out here. And like I said, to me, I, I love being out on a on a ship, being able to experience. I it's, it's like I'm I'm a, I don't know. I just love being out here or whatever. You know, for those of you that understand, um, but being able to be this close and actually see how all of our products, most of our products and stuff that we buy in the store, when they're coming across from other countries coming in from other countries and where they load it on, onto the shore and then onto trucks and stuff like that you know so this is something that i just really enjoy um man, this is this is nice this is really nice uh down here there's a fish market and stuff and so i'm gonna show you a clip of some of the food that we got but a lot of youtubers come out here to go to san pedro's fish market because it's it, the food's good the food's good you know the the weights now if you come on like on a weekend you can ex expect about maybe about a i would say at least an hour 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 and a half wait in line or whatever but when you get your food and stuff it's definitely worth it because you're getting to enjoy an experience it's an experience so that's what i would call it 